guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 29 homework. So let's get started. Number one, divide and then check using multiplication. Alright, so let's do long division. 2,000. Oh. Okay, 2,464 divided by 4. So first we look at the 2. 4 can't go into 2, so we go to the next column. Now, instead of 2, we have 24. 4 goes 6 times. 4 times 6 is 24. So 24 minus 24 is 0. Now, 4 can't go into 0, so we bring the 6 down. 4 can go 1 time, minus 4, 2 left over. And bring down the 4, 24 again. 4 goes 6 times into 24, so we have a remainder of 0. That means our answer or our quotient is 616. Let's check using multiplication. 616 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. 1 times 4 is 4. Plus 2 is 6. And 6 times 4 again is 24. So 2,468. Our dividend matches. So our answer really is correct. Over here, 616. All right, B, we have 1,848 divided by 3. Let's do long division. 3. Okay, 3 can't go into 1, so now we go 18. 3 goes 6 times into 18. 0, bring down the 4. 3 goes 1 time into 4. 1 is 3. 1 left over, and bring down the 8 again. 3 goes 6 times into 18 minus 18 we have zero and let's check with multiplication 616 times 3 6 times 3 is 18 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4 and 6 times 3 again is 18 1848 so our dividend matches which means our answer our quotient 616 is correct again so the same number all right c 9,426 divided by 3. 3 goes 3 times into 9. 3 times 3 is 9. So minus 9, 0. Bring down the 4. 3 goes 1 time into 4. Minus 3. 1 left over. Bring down the 2. 3 goes 4 times into 12. And bring down the 6. 3 goes 2 times into 6. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 6 is 0. So let's check with um, multiplication. 3,142 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4. And 3 times 3 is 9. 9,426. That means our answer, 3,142 is correct. All right, next page. D, 6,587 divided by 2. So 2 and 6. 2 goes 3 times into 6. Minus 6. Oh, that's a bit uneven. Okay, let's okay. Bring on the 5. 2 goes 2 times into 5, and 2 times 2 is 4. So 5 minus 4, we have 1 remaining. I bring down the 8. 2 goes 9 times into 18, minus 18, 0, and bring down the 7. 2 goes 3 times into 7, and 2 times 3 is 6. So minus 6, and we have 1 left over. 3,293, remainder 1. Let's check our work with multiplication. 3, 2, 9, 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 9 times 2 is 18. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. And 3 times 2 is 6. So 6,586. But now we have to add our remainder. We have a remainder of 1. So we have add 1. We have 6,587. So that means our answer 3,293. Remainder 1 is correct. Alright, E. 
5,445 divided by 3. 445 divided by 3. Alright, 3 goes 1 time into 5. 3 times 1 is 3. So 5 minus 3. We have 2 left over. 3 can't go into 2, so we bring down the 4. 3 can go 8 times into 24. 0 left over. Bring down the 4. 3 goes 1 time into 4. Minus 3. 1 left over. And bring down the 5. 3 goes 5 times into 15. So we have no remainder. Let's check using multiplication. 1115 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 3 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 8 times 3 is 24. And 1 times 3 is 3 plus 2 is 5. 5,445. So our answer, 1,815 1, is correct. All right, and F. 5,425 divided by 2. Divided by 2. First, we look at the 5. 2 goes 2 times into 5. 2 times 2 is 4. So 5 minus 4, we have 1 left over. Bring down the 4. 2 goes 7 times into 14. Bring down the 2. 2 goes 1 time into 2. Minus 2 is 0. And bring down the 5. 2 goes 2 times into 5. That's 4. We have 1 left over. So 2,712 2, remainder of 1. Let's check with multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. 7 times 2 is 14. And 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Now we add our remainder of 1. 5,425. Our dividend matches up, which means our answer is correct. 2,712 remainder 1. All right, G. 8,467 divided by 3. Okay. 8,467 divided by 3. 3 goes 1 time into 8. 3 times 1 is 3. Oh, actually not 3. One time, it's 2 times. To 8. 3 times 2 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. Bring down the 4. 3 goes 8 times into 24, minus 24, 0. Bring down the 6. 3 goes 2 times into 6. 3 times 2, 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. And bring down the 7. 3 goes 2 times into 7, minus 6. We have 1 left over. So 2,822 remainder 1. Let's check using multiplication. 2,822 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6. 8 times 3 is 24. And 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. Now we add our remainder of 1. 8,467. So our dividend matches up, which means our quotient, 2,822 remainder 1 is correct. All right. H. Let's see, we have 8,456 divided by 3. So let's look at the 8. 3 goes 2 times into 8. 3 times 2 is 6. So 8 minus 6 is 2 left over. Bring down the 4. 3 um, goes 8 times into 24. 3 times 8 is 24. So 24 minus 24, that's 0. Bring down the 5. 3 goes once into 5. 2 left over. And bring down the um, 6. 3 goes, um, let's see, 8 times into 26 minus 24. 2 left over. So let's check our answer using multiplication. 2,000. 818 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. 
1 times 3 is 3 plus 2 is 5, 8 times 3 is 24, and 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. Now we add our remainder of 2, 8,456. That means our quotient of 2,818 remainder 2 is correct. All right, and I, 4,937 divided by 4. 4 goes 1 time into 4, minus 4 is 0. Bring down the 9, 4 goes 2 times into 9, minus 8, that's 1. Bring down the 3, 4 goes 3 times into 13, it's minus 12, 1 left over, and bring down the 7. 4 goes 4 times into 7, minus 16, so we have our remainder 1. So let's check using multiplication. We have 1,234 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. And 1 times 4 is 4. Now we add our remainder of 1. 4,937. So our dividends match up, which means our quotient of 1,234. Remainder 1 is correct. Alright. Next page. Okay, almost done. J. Okay. 6,173 divided by 5. 5 goes 1 time into 6. Minus 5, 1 left over. Bring down the 1, 5 goes 2 times into 11. Minus 10, it's 1 left over. Bring down the 7, 5 goes 3 times into 17. And that's minus 15, 2 left over. And bring down the 3, 5 goes 4 times into 23. It's minus 20, 3 left over. Let's check with multiplication. 1,234 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11. And 1 times 5 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Now let's add our remainder of 3. 6,173. Our dividends match up, which means our quotient of 1,234. Remainder of 3 is correct. Number 2. A truck has four crates of apples. Each crate has an equal number of apples. Altogether, the truck is carrying 1,720 apples. How many apples are in three crates? All right, let's draw a tape diagram. A truck has four crates, and each crate has equal amount. So altogether, the truck is carrying 1,728 apples. But it's not asking for how many um, apples are in each individual crate or like in two crates or whatever. It's asking for how many apples are in three. So we want to find out this part. How many apples are in three? So first, we want to find out how many apples there are individually like in each crate. So 1,728 divided by four. Four can't go into one, so 17. Four goes four times into 17. Minus 16, that's one. Bring down the two. Four goes three times into 12. And bring down the eight. Four goes two times into eight. So 432. If you want, you can check with multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12, and 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So our, our dividends match up, which means 432 is the number of apples in each crate. But we're not done yet. It says how many apples are in three crates. So if 432 apples are in one crate, then we just have to add 432 plus 432 plus 432 to find out how many apples are in three crates. 
So 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 3 is 9. And 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 4 is 12. So 1,296. Okay, I'm just finishing there. Apples are in three crates. So you just finished the problem here. But yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!